that fresh win against DePaul at Wintrust Arena, opening that arena in Chicago, Illinois. And Bonzi gets going early, and knocks home the jump shot. Planudis, Robinson, double team, Planudis inside, Gomes, easy basket as the shot clock was winding down. Early so far on this one, and what a day he had. The double-double for the senior, and how about that senior? Marty Gebbin with a two-hand jam. Six minutes against Marquette on Friday. Robinson down the paint, floater good. And there we see Robinson's ability to penetrate. Cobway number 13 in blue. He sets the screen, and Colson stepping in, taking it away from Donald Carey to the rim, up and in. How about Colson? We've seen him so much on the post if offensively. Blocking. So seven seconds on the shot clock here for Robinson. Trying to step back, nice play inside, puts it up and in. It's 10, it's a lot of size for a Mountaineers team that looks to get back to the NCAA tournament this season. How about the three-point shot from Jonah Antonio? It's taking a lot of threes. Farrell, Burns will take it from deep, and Burns knocks down a three-point shot. Robinson stops, pops, way downtown, and hits. And a new shot clock for the Mountaineers. Alexander will step back, shoot, and hits. Nice looking jump shot. Antonio inside to Abwe. Abwe up and uh, hits. How about Omar Abwe? John Mooney, who's checked in for the Irish Health that timeout. Colston, easy basket, turn around. Last four. Nice kick out. Alexander for three. He hits. And Mount St. Mary's has taken the lead. Strong, Farrell, easy rebound. Hesitated. Step back to his left. That one off the mark. And Colson able to clean it up with a two-hand jam. Colson on the right block. Turn around, jump shot, money. And there you see a senior versus freshman, Abwe. Colson. Gibbs at the right elbow, puts it up and in. Who puts the harm? The start the season for Notre Dame. And that aggressiveness continuing to pay off. Had 21 points, a career high. For 25%. But hanging tight here, but Fluger another steal. Farrell. Back to Fluger, reverse layup, up and in, and timeout. Jamie and Christian, he's seen enough. And once again tonight to open up the home season here in South Bend. Kick out, Planudis for three, and that low arcing shot is good. Colson, nice hands by Colson. Carey step back three, that's good. So it's back to back freshman threes for the Mountaineers. Rhythm. Then you're a very dynamite team, and we're already seeing that as the Mountaineers have consistently been able to close the gap. And what a spin move by Gibbs. Opens up the lane and convert. Turnover, Irish. Fluger steps in nicely, though. Farrell for three, and he hits. That's a big time swing. He hit the three. Bonzi reaching in the sky for that rebound. Gibbs in transition. Right hand layup is good. Season pulls and moved up a spot after their win over DePaul. That 14th rank was the highest. They've been ranked in the preseason since 09. And how about Robinson? One double digit scoring games last season. Colson with four seconds. Step back by Bonzi. It's good! Bonzi Colson capping off the half with a turnaround jump shot. We talked all about the stifling defense of Mount St. Mary's in the first half trying to limit Notre Dame's opportunities, but the Irish have had some great turnovers, leading to that finish by Gavin. Yeah, Martinez, Gavin. Here come the Irish back the other way. Farrell, screened by Gavin. Easy jump shot for Farrell, and easy basket. Really surprised his brother Matt, and not a dry eye in Purcell Pavilion that night as Bo returned. And how about that return from the timeout? This Fluger play. Penetrating, and then finding Gebbin on the left block. Senior teammate, no good from three. Quick up ahead, Colson to the rim, up and in. Nice feed from Matt Farrell. See just the ability to transition, and Colson runs the floor exceptionally well for a big man. And Farrell hit him with the pass, and Farrell once again with the shot. And he hits another three. On January 12th. And Bray joked before the season started that if they would have won the ACC twice and 
five years, they might have had to kick the Irish out of the ACC. See if you can make one or two, and once you see them go in, then that confidence really starts to build, and you can get on a run from there. Robinson inside of Gomes, reverse, up and in. Nice play, and that's the first assist from Robinson. Luger inside to Colson. Colson on the freshman, Planutis. Turn around, jump shot is good. St. Mary's missed their first eight threes of the night. And have now go one for eight here in, one for seven in the second half. Make it two for eight. Farrell guarded by Robinson. Farrell diving in towards the paint. Burns got it off, and how about the tip-in shot by Fluger? Points. Quite a few of those nine rebounds have come on the offensive end, and it's been plays like that. Coming in from the outside, getting it a tip in. And Antonio! Will that be his first career double-double? How about Colson? A rebound away from his 25th career double-double. Farrell diving in. Easy shot at the rim. Turn over Gibbs. Out wide to Alexander being guarded by Mooney. At the left elbow, shot, and a high rising arc. Points against DePaul on Saturday, but defensively, he's a force to be reckoned with. Speaking of that, here's Colson, turnaround jump shot, takes a nice bounce. Nice little friendly bounce off the iron here in Purcell Pavilion, the friendly confines, if you will, for the Irish. Planutis will fire away, and it's good. He finds Antonio, who fires away another three, no good. Colson now in transition. He just got his 25th career double double, up and in off the feed from Fluger. Carey almost got it stolen away. Gets it back with 12 on the shot clock. Step back three. That's good. And I read about Prentice Hub. Fortunately, had an injury. He won't be able to play his senior season in high school. But he had a great job, did a great job on Markel Fultz. Of course, Markel Fultz, part of that DeMatha program that Mike Bray went to. Jaron Grant, former players, and you go all the way back to Adrian Dantley. Fluger shows a lot of versatility on both ends of the ball, and we've seen him have an increased role offensively this season and really grow into that role that Connaughton vacated. An impressive debut with seven points. Inside, Robinson denied at the rim by Gevin. Spot on the floor, but still able to find the inside parts. It's been mostly Colson, 10 of 14 for the night. Backdoor cut by Farrell, reverse layup, and what a pass. Gibbs, Farrell, and even Harvey, and obviously Bonzi Colson, but Gevin's somebody that doesn't get talked about a whole lot for his ball handling abilities. Usually we talk about him more on the defensive end, the rebounding side. And if he can be somebody that can handle the ball down low and create opportunities and pass, that's something that really will be a dynamite force offensively for Notre Dame. Three exhibition games. Played well, too. But officially getting his first run in a white jersey as Burns, nice move, puts it up with the right hand. Also saw a three-pointer from Burns earlier. His first career three, so that shooting stroke definitely improved over the last couple of years. The career night for everybody. And Mauda Sala all decided to transfer. Two, two of them going, actually all three of them going to Power 5 teams with Long to Texas, Wilson to Miami, and Sala. But head coach Jamie and Christian has done it before. This team, regular season champs in the NEC last year, also won the tournament championship, as you see John Mooney with a left-hand layup. To point out is Mount St. Mary's is getting a good taste of playing some of the top competition. You mentioned the loss against Marquette and obviously now against Notre Dame, but they're playing, their, their non-conference slate does not finish with this Notre Dame matchup tonight. Senior walk-on, terrific three-point shooter. As Harvey will stop, pop, and hit off the friendly roll. Legend and current St. John's head coach, Chris Mullen. That shot's good by Carey. Some great pedigree there with Leftwich. And at Purcell Pavilion, Mike Bray, win number 384 at Notre Dame. And the Irish knock off the Mountaineers 88-62. to 62.